What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random, and I was going to take you guys to the store with me, but my camera is like on 1%. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. This bitch is always dying, so I guess you guys aren't going to come to the store with me. However, I wanted to say one thing to the camera, and I was thinking that, like, um, you guys know that I'm getting ready to start kind of like a weight loss journey of some, and I don't really know how this is going to go. Um, every time I think about losing weight, I think about when I was small, I still wasn't small enough, and I think about like all of the pressure that came with like losing weight, and how I had like a little bout of just, I just stopped eating. I lost a lot of weight, but I was just not eating. And I, I'm confronted with that idea of how are you going to lose weight? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to work out. But I want, like, a fast result and stuff like that. And I know it's going to take a while. But, like, let's hurry up and get there um, type of energy. And I know that's, that's a bad mentality to have. So I think all I really wanted to say was being fat is it's not that you have to love yourself as being fat but you have to exist where everyone else is telling you that you can't love yourself and that's just the mentality that that I've been having and I don't even think that I'm like really super big it's like and when you're confronted with everyone telling you that you shouldn't love yourself you shouldn't be happy as yourself it kind of puts you in this bubble of like why would I lose weight I don't want to get along with those people who hated me just because I was bigger or something or people who had this nasty the nastiest things to say or think or they were laughing at me when I was bigger and it makes it really hard for me to kind of gain that motivation because part of it is Am I going to not love myself like like in the future when I look at myself in the past if I lost weight? So like it's like a whole mind fuck, but I don't want to like lose weight and this is I haven't even started losing weight and nothing's changed yet. But I don't want to lose weight and not love the me who started that journey. Like be like, "Oh, why didn't I do this sooner?" But I also don't want to stay where I am. And I do want to show appreciation for my body and love me the way I am now. And it's just hard because society will tell me that I shouldn't love me and I shouldn't be the way I am now. And I don't want to change for society. I want to change for me. Because I love me. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go get some fast food. Convenience store food. I know I was talking about going on a diet. But like, I also said I wasn't going to diet until I found an apartment. Moved into my apartment and worked my job for like a month. Got comfortable with working. Because there's a lot of stress to be putting on me at once. Okay? Okay? But I do need to start eating a little healthier. Yeah. So, mm, I don't know. One thing I can say is all this. If you were with me uh, earlier today, I guess I'm going to put all of this in the same vlog. Um, my camera just cut off in the middle of me talking quite rude. If you do ask me uh, myself, I charged my camera up the entire night. And also on another note, I just sent away on my phone for a... Um, for a what is it called <laughs> for a camera stand so I'll actually be able to set up my camera and I think I had to spend a little bit more money for the camera stand to get here I said about I think maybe like 20 bucks 20 US dollars for my stand it should come with all of these little gadgets with it and everything oh by the way did you notice this um, last night I went downstairs, like I told you guys I was going to, to get something to like snack on. And I saw this yogurt and I was like, wow, I 
want it because I've always wanted a baby. I wanted a baby bottle oh, so bad. This is made out of glass, by the way. So, like, I have my little baby bottle. Mama! The problem with this is it has some type of yogurt in it. And I bought the bottle because of the bottle. But then I looked at, like, the expiration date. And it went out back in, like, I want to say back in, like, October of last year. And it was a dairy product. So I really don't get how they be doing their uh, their expiration dates here. I really don't get it. Are they just suggestions or was it left on the shelf? And I was kind of thinking, I mean, it would make sense if it was left on the shelf. Who is going to buy this but a weird foreigner? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this was made for me this was made for me <laughs> this is mine so i'm really happy about my little my little baby bottle you know <laughs> this is and then you know i really love collecting like glass glass bottles we're gonna try not to collect too many glass bottles but i was like look it's your baby bottle and it has your baby on it <laughs> So I'm just really happy about that for some reason. Um, but yeah, I got my camera stand and I ordered two pairs of socks along with my camera stand because I need to spend a little bit more money. Hopefully my massive, massive feet will fit into those socks. And if they don't fit, I'm just going to take them to work tomorrow and then give them to the people like, hey, I ordered some socks and they don't fit. Here you go. And just give it to people at my job because what else am I going to do with socks that I can't wear? But hopefully I can wear them. Um, the only thing that I'm really focusing on right now is I kind of wanted to clean up. And, you know, we don't have, like, good camera angles. I wish we did have good camera angles because I'd be sending this camera up all over this bitch. Um, the new camera thing that I bought is like it's in centimeters so i don't even know if it's really gonna be that tall i should have probably checked but i already bought it so i'll just surprise myself when i open up the box <laughs> um i wanted to clean up a little bit so while we're waiting because by the way it's like 9 40 right now my package should come in an hour so it's really interesting. So like there's this app where you can like just have food Uber it to you, but it's so, it's so much more than that. People go in the grocery store, buy your food and bring it to you. Like it's so much like just streamlined through like little delivery men on little motorbikes that go like, like they just go around town picking up the shit that you ordered and bringing it to you. Like, I don't, like, wow, you know? Like, I'm helping the economy. <laughs> I just really like the lighting over here, so that's why I keep coming over here. Let me try to make eye contact with the camera. Hi, how y'all doing? Oh, by the way, today I went live, and let me tell you, I didn't realize how much I missed it. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I missed it, but I didn't miss it. I missed it quite a lot. So now I'm like, I gotta figure out how to go live like once a week. Once a week, just popping in, hey, how you doing? And maybe posting a TikTok twice a week. You know what I'm saying? Not, not as many as I used to do because at this point, I don't really see my TikTok growing much more. If it does, okay, cool. But I don't see it growing much more. I don't plan on like just like, hi, look at me in another country. Look at me. Um, I do plan on showing a little bit of it on my YouTube channel, which you guys are here. But I keep, I'm going to continue to do, just do Redacted. The series of Redacted. The, my life in Redacted. Like that's just going to be what it is. <laughs> Because, like, I like the idea that you guys don't know exactly where I am. Keep you guessing. And I think that um, the people who do know where I am, you better not tell the people who are guessing down below. Okay? Because if you do, y'all, 
that would make me upset. Don't make me upset. <laughs> Don't disappoint me <laughs> like everyone else in my life. <laughs> um, I've been going around and not stealing. I was going to say stealing, but I've been going around and coll collecting teas and stuff from every hotel that I've went to. So when I move into my place, which should be pretty soon, give me a second, y'all see these down here? When I move into my place and I have somebody over for the first time, I'm gonna be like, you want some tea? You want some coffee? <laughs> y'all gonna know where I got it from, okay? If you ever come to my place, you see me, like, you see me bring out a little baggie? A little Ziploc baggie and stuff. You know exactly where I... Oh. You gonna be like... Y'all gonna come over in maybe like two years. And you gonna be like... You still got that baggie? Yes, I do. Nobody ever asks for fucking tea. Or comes to visit me. <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna be a tea drinker. I'm gonna try to be a tea drinker at the very least. So... Yeah, I just wanna clean up. Straighten up. Get my life together. Uh, the ladies keep trying to come by to clean up my room. And I don't let them come in. <laughs> That's like the universal. No, you can't come in. <laughs> not while I'm here. I'm not going to watch somebody clean up. Like, and I realize, okay, I realize culturally, I guess, that's how it's done you know someone comes in and cleans and you stand over their shoulder and watch them clean and maybe it's not as awkward for them as it is for me but at the end of the day it's awkward for me Ooh. <laughs> it's all awkward for me so no oh look at all these people down here you see them you see them yeah I'm, look 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 here's the thing <laughs> My nose is itchy. That wasn't the thing. Here's the thing. I don't necessarily want to, like, record people while I'm here. Because, like, privacy. But also, they're so far away, you won't be able to tell who that is. And I think if that's the case, then I'm okay with recording these people. If you can't tell who it is, I might as well be recording the sky. So yeah, so um, I'm gonna put this camera down and just start straightening up around here. I edited a video today too. Today was my off day. And so I'm trying to get ready tomorrow mentally to go into work. I gotta do a little walk for 30 minutes, get on the bus. I'm gonna try to leave a little bit earlier <laughs> cause I be getting there late. I be getting there late AF. I need to leave two hours. So if I need to be there at 12, I need to leave my hotel at 9.50 <laughs> just to be safe because I really be <laughs> cutting it close every single time but like now I know not to look for you know something else you know now I know what to look for so it should be a little easier right oh my stomach hurt mm. Mm, mm, mm. My body just be aching sometimes. Well, I'm going to go ahead. I got to clean out the tub. I'm just, what I'm doing right is I'm just going to dump everything into the tub. Like, let me just, let me just, let me just. I feel like I can do that on the camera. That's the tub. And then I'm going to repack my suitcase. Take my time, you know. Take my time. Let me reach down here real quick. And I'm closing the uh, bath. So that, like, if I drop any coins, they won't go down. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm throwing everything else in here. This would really suck if the water were to randomly turn on. Just 
just do that. I don't know why I do half the things I do. I just do them sometimes. I just think that maybe it'll be easier. Like in my mind, if I put the stuff at a different place and also they're not just on the floor, it's easier to just reach in and like da 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 da. Right? But there honestly could have been a better way to deal deal with this. It's just no one's here to tell me that I can't do it that way. And so that is why all of my clothes are now inside of the the bathtub. Actually, not even just all of my clothes, just everything is in the bathtub, actually. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna try to clean it out today because I'm just imagining the ladies coming in to clean the hotel, like the room while I'm gone tomorrow and seeing that. <laughs> Like my motivation to clean <laughs> is to not seem too weird. Um, they're really nice, by the way. She came by, asked me, did I want my room to be clean? And she's asking me all the, in the, her native tongue. You see, I almost slipped up and was like the language, right? She's asking me this all in her native tongue. And I'm just like, oh no, and da 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 da. And I'm answering back and I think they think that I know their native tongue. But people forget how much you can just communicate with gestures. You can communicate a lot with body language. So I'm just picking up on their body language. And also like that happened at work the other day. Someone was talking and they, they said someone's name and I was just kind of following the situation. So I understood what they were saying and they were like, oh, you understood. And I'm just like, I don't know, what, I don't know the words, but I can guess, <laughs> you know? And I was right on the money. So it's just more so like that's, that's how I've been living. People are like, how can you be in a different country and not speak the language? Baby, I guess. And like, there's people who are more willing to like work with me. There's definitely people who are not willing to work with me. There's people who cannot even phantom the idea that you can communicate with something more than a language. But there's people that are willing to work with me. And when I meet those people, yes. It's like, that's when you really start to communicate. When you communicate when you're not just relying on language. So, yeah, I've met people like that. And I've, I've been having a good go of it. It might get harder, but I don't know. It's not too uncomfortable. It's just the reality. I am a foreigner in a country that does not speak my language as much. Maybe majority of them should be. A little like they should they grew up learning it at the very least but I'm not going to expect people who grew a uh, look I studied uh, 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 Spanish and am I fluent in Spanish yet you come to me and ask me if I'm fluent in Spanish I'll be like boy if you don't get out of my face that, that's the vibes of that so completely understandable <gasps> I found my wedding ring see I don't know if I was recording earlier or I was live and I was like, damn it, I lost my wedding ring. Here it is. Here it is. I probably put it to the side to keep myself from losing it. Ooh, I'm going to shave my legs. I was thinking about shaving my legs. I don't have a shaver, but I was like, mm, that'd be fine. They got some toothbrushes over here. I already took one of the toothbrushes. I don't need that comb. Maybe I'd use a shower cap, though. I'd be taking stuff. I don't be taking stuff because I feel like if it's in the room with me, then it's mine. I can take the toothbrushes too, shit. What they gonna do? They just gonna leave the toothbrushes out for the next person. They got plenty of toothbrushes. I'll take another toothbrush. You're supposed to change your toothbrush like every month anyway. So, actually, I had a toothbrush. Did they throw away my toothbrush? Those heifers. They threw away my toothbrush. That's what happened. And so they put another one out here. You don't have to throw away my toothbrush. They probably was like, well, she got another one right here. Well, I'll throw away the toothbrush that I had at the last place. This clear, this clear toothbrush is the toothbrush that I've been brushing my teeth with since I've come. Um, I got this in the last area that I was staying in. You see, I'm still almost missing, slipping up. And I guess I'll switch to another one um, pretty soon. What is this? Oh, my shit's all over the place. I kind of feel bad because, like, 
was on my period and like there's like pads all over the place they're not like used but they're just like <laughs> on the table like <laughs> pads so like any woman that's come in here like i feel like they know like oh poor little foreigner she's on her period and i think that's probably why the lady was like you need to drink some more water because i was like do i look ashy or something very sweet he gave me a bunch of water a bunch of water usually they give you two she gave me four I was like, you give me double. She was like, oh yeah, you need to drink this. <laughs> Is it like hot or something? Like, let me, I don't know, but I'm gonna drink it cause she told me to. And I'm a good girl. See, that's one thing about me. I do what I'm told. <laughs> I'll let you guys know when I get the uh, package. Okay, so the time is 6.55. My package came right on time. This is my new camera stand and also i think a box of socks which is very funny because right now i am hand washing some clothes well not like clothes clothes i'm just hand washing panty socks and like uh face cloths and stuff like that like little things um just to have things clean i have cleaned out the tub well i didn't like clean like wash it and I moved my suitcase from here to all the way in here. I reorganized the inside of this and um, gathered up all of my trash and picked out my clothes for tomorrow. That's a pair of socks that I'm going to wear tomorrow. And the bed, you know, the bed is just, <laughs> the bed is just bedding, okay? So I, I'm just straightening it up. Once I finish uh, washing, hand washing these, I'm going to rinse them and then hang them up around the tub. So that is my goal. But you know what? Let's go ahead and open up this box. <laughs> like, you don't get a package and then not open it. <laughs> well, we're going to have to say goodbye to awkward angles pretty soon. First thing first though. Okay, so this is the ring light that went with this. So it comes with like a little ring light. So I have a ring light and then, you know, this is like the little doohickeys for the camera. And I got two pairs of random socks. Which I believe that these will fit me. Right? Right? I don't know, they look kind of small. But yeah, I got two pairs of random socks. I just added the socks on so it would like, I would have enough that I paid for that the, the carrier would bring my items. I think I had to spend like a hundred, not like a hundred dollars. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't add up in that manner, but I had to spend about a hundred. Once we open this, we're going to have to say goodbye to weird angles. Are you guys excited? It comes with it, like a little baggie. And boom! My new camera stand. Feels like a, a, a lolly a lolly allium, not a, y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? A la la, a la la la. And it looks like it's, let me see. Let me see how tall this sucker will go. That seems pretty sturdy. Come on up. Oh, <laughs> that's more than tall enough. <laughs> that is more than tall enough. Now, let's look. Let's look around. Because while I have that, I also need to be able to put my camera on there. You know what I'm saying? My camera needs to be able to sit on here. So 
I guess this happens. Oh no, it does this oh gosh, what happens? Actually I don't know what to do. What to do? Does this unscrew? It unscrewed! Oh, I could screw my camera directly to this. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Oh, I'm making history. <laughs> like. Is it the right size? Yeah, it's the right size. <laughs> Hi. She's a little cricket, but is she cricket? She's a little cricket. Nah, it evens out. Wow, it's been a while since you guys have been up on like a stand, like at a proper angle. Wow, hello. Like you guys are seeing me at like the angle of most of the people in this area because you guys are so tiny. <laughs> I can bring you up higher, but like this is a great area, right? Wow. I don't know if it's like the whole like we bought something new. Then we got the ring light right here. Like we're going to be making content. Wow. And then I still have my tabletop one. Well, wow. <laughs> There's only so many times you can say wow. I have so many bags over here inside of my um, thing. I have a collection of bags to be precise. Um, and so I believe that this should get a little bag. But I want a special bag. You know, a bag. I'm gonna put it in a chicken bag. No, I don't want it to go. I'll put it in. I'll put it in my super chicken bag. So this is where everything for my camera stand is going to go as of right now. The ring light. All of this in my super chicken bag. It even comes with like a little camera thing. I don't really know how to work this though. But it's a remote shutter. I think it's just there, just to be there. You know what I mean? Like, how am I going to hook that up to my phone? It's just there to be there. And so this is, this is going to be a little technology bag. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Let me tell you, retail therapy. <laughs> just buying shit. Like, I didn't need this. Well, I didn't want this. That's to say, I did really want this. And like, I just like how like, <laughs> can you see yourself? Can you see, can you see yourself? You're right here. Yes, we are now, we are now looking at each other. Like, yeah, yeah we're looking at each other uh the only thing that i could say is i can't like tilt it down but there's other camera um heads that could probably tilt it down and stuff like that so yeah how's things going i'm just making like i feel like i'm making a mess the water is like all over the place also this sucker right here bled on everything. It's just bleeding for no reason. Which, if it bleeds so much, then it might bleed on the, on the tub. So I'll just hang it up on the door. Cause the door is like metal. I don't know if you can see that back here. The door is kind of like metal, so maybe it won't bleed that much on it. But yeah, doing doing the laundry. I'm a independent woman. Don't need no man. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. You know, I bought a pair of socks. I bought a new camera stand. Like, things are looking up. 
<laughs> I'm going to work tomorrow. This was my off day, and you know, I'm not off tomorrow anymore, so I go back to work pretty soon. So I go to work tomorrow. Uh, do I think that I clean these clothes effectively by hand washing them? No. No, I don't think I'm cleaning these clothes effectively. I think I'm just kind of playing in the water for a moment. It does smell better though. So, you know, I need some clean socks. So, they're clean enough. You know, washing machines were created for a reason. They're effective. These hands... Not as effective. So, I mean, you guys could watch me like squeeze all of these things off, but I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me squeeze everything out. So, I will see you guys again next time. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I got a stand. Now I can do a sit down and talk conversation and tell y'all about the trip so far. Um, which I should have already recorded because I wanted to tell y'all about like getting on the like airplane and all that. And I just never said anything. And I don't know if it's too late. I don't think it's too late. If I record it soon and edit it, it won't be too late to post it. Like maybe I want to post it like before I start posting the videos of when I first arrived to where I arrived at, you know what I mean? Maybe like start off where I'm getting on the plane today and then tell you guys what happened uh, before I got on the plane. Cause a little something happened. A little something happened. And um, it was really frustrating. But you know, I survived like I always do. You know, I will survive. Hey. You know, I went through a lot. Y'all are going to hear about this a little. Maybe y'all already heard about this. I went through a lot to freaking get a notebook. And I haven't even been using a notebook. <laughs> so maybe I need to start writing little things that I think about inside of my notebook so I can continue to make content for my channel. Because that's... I guess that's why I got the notebook in the first place. We should be looking for an apartment pretty soon. I got here just in time for like the New Year festivals. I hope that doesn't give you too much information. You'll be like, I know exactly where you are. But um, yeah, it's about six o'clock. It feels later. I slept in though. So I haven't been awake for too long. But I do want to go to bed a little bit earlier because I know I have to be up at like 10 tomorrow. Because I'm going to... Actually, I got to be up before 10 because I got to shower, put my clothes on, and then hit the road. But it don't matter because it's going to be late. Every time I um, leave my job anyway, it's going to be dark. So I tried to not like... Yesterday, no, the other day I got... I went up to some people and I was like, how do I get a taxi? And they helped me. They actually got in the taxi with me. <laughs> we were all in the back seat. I was in the back seat with two random strangers and they told the man to drop me off and they kept the taxi and went on ahead with the taxi. But um, I paid about 10, 10 buckaroonies and their money, not my money. Probably like a dollar, honestly. And my money, $2. So maybe a taxi driver wouldn't want to take me, um, take me from the bus station to my uh, hotel. The problem is though, my uh, hotel is like a 20, 20 minute walk. So like it's nothing for a car, but for me, a foreigner walking in the middle of the night, it's a little something, you know what I'm saying? So. I'll see if I can try to get another taxi to take me um, home tomorrow after I get off of work. And if they don't, I'm just going to unhappily be walking down the street trying to make it.
to my hotel. And like the thing is like it's late at night. I mean late at night. So it's kind of uncomfy to be walking around so late at night. I don't know. I mean when whatchamacallit happened to me in Korea, it wasn't late at night. It was during the day. So I know that creeps are out at any time, but you know, I can't help but be a little scared. Um, but yeah, I mean, I done told y'all I wasn't gonna make y'all watch me do all the laundry, but y'all done ended up watching me do all the laundry. I think I'm done for today though. I did all my work. I finally caught up to stuff and um, I ate out today. I had some McDonald's today and I need to do a little dancey dance, you know, get up moving, stuff like that because I had McDonald's today. <laughs> my face was really breaking out. I drank some water and so hopefully my face is a little bit better before tomorrow. The lady, I, I already told y'all this earlier. You know, I just be rambling. This is my hotel room. So <laughs> I showed y'all this already, but not bad, not bad at all. I think when I'm looking into apartments, I'm going to try to put, find a place, find, um, a place where I can like kind of record and it kind of be like aesthetic you know what I'm saying it's still uneven I'm gonna have to fix it post could be like oh no it's a little uneven y'all know it y'all know I'm gonna have to you know just like you know um post I'm not gonna do that it's gonna just be uneven but like I'm gonna think about doing it and then I'm not gonna do it <laughs> so anyway much love and positive vibes I hope you guys are as excited as I am about this stand you know <laughs> and I'll see you next time bye